गुड मॉर्निंग ओवरफ्लोज डिपेंडेंस इज इम्प्योरिटी वेन द इनरनेस इज इम्प्योर एंड वेन इट इज प्योरिफाइड वेन यू आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन सम वन फॉर एनी थिंग हैप्पीनेस और एनी थिंग that time your innerness gets impurified we depend on others for happiness and other kind of benefits at the same time we consider all our problems and so are coming because of the other in that situation your innerness your heart gets impure dependence on the other is impurity and in deeper sense any sort of dependence on the other is sin but there are certain sins that we have socialized we have given a social sanction just as we depend on others for our happiness we consider others as responsible for our problems in life if a man thinks that today i will go to a prostitute or to someone else then there seems to be a weakness in the mind and he thinks that he is committing a sin he thinks if i go to my spouse then the mind does not get weakened going to the prostitute the mind feels different than going to the wife because the relationship between husband and wife has been given social sanction and going to the prostitute or the other person there comes a weakness because this particular aspect does not have a social sanction it is an individual choice an individual choice in which the whole society is not cooperative you are going alone when you understand this in deeper sense then he has to understand ki the moment i am going to someone else or dependent on someone else for my happiness of any kind whether that person is your spouse that has been given social sanction or a prostitute or a friend or you are standing at the door step of someone for getting some assistance that very moment soul gets impured impure it may not seem you may not observe it after when such habits continue for a long time there comes a sort of blindness when you go on repeating the same thing over and over again so there comes a mechanical process that becomes strengthened the thief also does not think that what he is doing that is causing weakness or the it is sinning 
slowly and slowly when one continues in this habit then it gets embedded so deep into you that you do not hear the voice of the inner and then the day you are not going to commit the same mistake if it is a thief if you are not doing that then you will feel that something is wrong going on something is wrong then impurity seems to be purity and the odor the bad smell will appear to you to be the fragrance habit creates another nature and slowly and slowly it creates layers upon layers then when the layers upon layers are gathered then you fail to hear the inner voice recognize the inner voice then there comes a feeling that there is no voice of the inner but in fact you have blocked that voice and you are unable to hear that the soul is still speaks but in a very low voice and slowly and slowly this voice is starts getting the is intensity is audibility is starts getting smaller and smaller and a moment comes that we become almost deaf to this inner voice and it is because of the constant habit habit that has been creating layers upon layers on your audibility then a moment comes when you have you do not hear the inner voice at all every in every one there comes a inner voice to accept it or not to accept it is your choice then in that situation you ask someone you are someone that guide me whether this is right or not you have failed to recognize your voice of the inner and you depending on the others the process of awakening is you are listening to your inner voice the voice of consciousness and your every step that you undertake in life is guided by that when you are going to do something for the first time so before you enter into that or before you do that you should look into whether this particular act or but this particular thought is creating is weakening your consciousness or is it giving a strength to it anything that gives you energy with increases your level of energy and the at uh, this energy this overflow of energy you feel from within and you feel energized within it is that not this energy is coming from food or anything else it is the inner mechanism when that energy begins to overflow there is a state of blissfulness in doing a particular act you feel fulfilled overflowing then think that is the soul is in favor of that the divinity the existence is in favor of that the first it gives you indication from within a voice comes in you feel 
before you enter into that act or thought, this begins to happen. <clears throat> and after <coughs> that, you feel that you are energized. You are energized. You feel energy overflowing in you. That moment, consider that soul is in favor of that. On the contrary, whenever you are engaging in something or thinking about, there naturally comes loss of energy as if your energy is depleting in that particular act. Whatsoever may be a thought, may be an action, may be anything else. Suppose, for instance, you want to go to a prostitute or entering into another relation, then immediately from within a weakness comes in. That moment consider that soul is not in favor of that. After that you will feel loss of energy, depletion in your existing level of energy. This is the criteria. If after doing any act or any thought, there is an overflow of energy, exuberance, much energy is flowing into you in the form of bliss, in the form of anything. Consider that this act has the sanction of the divinity. The soul is in favor of that. Soul is in favor of that. So this is the criteria and remember dependency of any kind, financial, you are not asking, but if someone gives you, gives you, consider as divine blessing, as the blessing of God. You are not asking, you have not asked for it, but you have gotten it. So dependency, remaining dependent on anyone for anything financial or your own happiness, your blissfulness, joy or anything is impurity.